Today, we're going to get into some wild stuff at 5 p.m. today. We're going to have a webinar talking about what you're going to get in the Corporate Citizen Playbook. So the link for the webinar will be in the first comment. And we're going to probably start a little early talking about some of the things that are going to happen. Number one, everyone that attends the Corporate Citizen Playbook will get an extreme discount. You will get an offer at the end of the webinar that will expire quite quickly for you to get in the Corporate Citizen Playbook. And also, the week of June 26th, we're going to be doing our first corporate sprint. Now, what is a corporate sprint? A corporate sprint is where I'm going to come on three or four times, have a webinar, probably like 7 p.m. to answer your questions about setting up your LLC, setting up your holding company, setting up your corporate banking, where you can have direct contact and ask questions to get your issues and things worked out. So if you want to be at the webinar, go below. It's going to be in the first comment. Well, this is probably going to release before I wake up, so it's going to be in the description box. You can go ahead and get into that webinar, and once I wake up, I'll post a comment where you can access the webinar. My name is Glendon Cameron. Let's get into this video, which is going to be quite dope. You know, I've written books, I've created courses, I've created multiple YouTube channels, I've created multiple businesses. So it's pretty safe to say that I am of the producer ilk. And being a producer, and let me go ahead and explain what happens when you're a producer. Let's, let me go way back when I used to be an employee. I would get a deposit from my employer twice a month. This is me working for my employer all month long, 22, 23 days out the month to get two financial deposits. And then I started to move over into the producer realm. First as a commission outside salesperson, where I remember one month, I got seven commission checks because this is how it works. We, we don't get our commissions until the project is complete. So one month I had seven projects wrap up and I got seven commission checks. And I think that was like $170,000 in one month. So I got seven deposits from being a commission salesperson in one month. Then I moved on and I started my own business and then I did okay because I was making sales, but I wasn't doing everything I needed to do correctly. So then I moved to selling you stuff and then that's when I really began to see the number of deposits. I remember we were doing eBay, um, we get deposits into the PayPal account virtually every day. Amazon, get deposits, several deposits a week. Craigslist, get deposits every day. And um, the Upscale Garage Sale, get deposits four times a month because we only had the Upscale Garage Sale on the weekends. So I would say just calculating all of those deposits. Like, I'm just going to, because I never actually counted the deposits, but I'm going to estimate 350 to 500 cash deposits in my account every month. And then I left that and I came to YouTube and then I started to sell my book making money A to Z with self storage unit auctions. And once I got that rolling up, once again, I saw deposits virtually every day. And then I created my online courses and then I started to do some other stuff and I literally saw deposits every day. So when you become a producer, you get cash deposits frequently. Um, the beginning of this year, I was kind of figuring out what I wanted to do with the YouTube channel, with everything that I had out. And I went January, February, March, and April, and I was getting paid from YouTube. So I went down from 
daily deposits to one deposit per month. And I had to figure out some stuff and I'm really glad that I did that because now I have a bigger, bolder, deafer plan. But when you become a producer, you put yourself in the position to get multiple cash deposits into your bank accounts, into your merchant accounts. And once you get your business really crunk, this can be a daily event. And I want you to think, what would your life be like if you were getting daily cash deposits into your bank account? What would your life be like? Because this is the life of a, a producer, of a creator, of someone who's doing some things. Because one of the things that I have noted is, and I really, my situation's a little different because uh, even though I did not work four months, I'm still able to pay my bills because, you know, this is something that I should have put in the money course, but I feel that this would be an advanced tactic. Um, one of the things that I do is I put money in an account to live on the next year. So whether I make money or not, I can pay my bills quite easily because the money's already there. And I didn't put that in the money course because that's, that's a very advanced tactic right there. But the producer life is so much better than being the life of a consumer. Because when you're a consumer, this is one of the things. And I would say from a production standpoint, because let's kind of look at it. Um, I don't even know because I haven't even counted, but I know at one point, let's go back before I stopped putting content on three channels. This is the only channel that I'm putting content on. But last month, in the beginning of this month, I was producing a video over here every day, that's 30 videos, and a video at the uh, Mad Money, that was um, 30 videos. And then I started putting videos on that strong coke, that strong cocaine. So that was 90 videos per month, which re which created a financial transaction. Because when I was putting up those videos, I was getting cash deposits into my AdSense account. So that literally started to create the process again where and then last month I started selling my first course and then that required that got me to pretty much daily deposits into my Stripe account and then now we're doing more cuz essentially let me go ahead and kind of give you snapshots of my life. Let's go back to 2020, which was the best financial year of my life. Um, I was getting like $10,000 a day. I want you to think you create a business that would put $10,000 per day, seven days a week into your personal financial account. Because, you know, th there's like, man, <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I, I'm just going to kind of kind of go through my bank accounts because I have so many bank accounts. I literally got maybe 17 at Chase. I've got four at Truist. I have about 25, 25 bank accounts, 25. Now, why do I have so many bank accounts? Because wouldn't it make sense to have money going into just one account? Not the way that I have it set up because I have multiple businesses and I have multiple um, payroll structures. And essentially, let me just kind of explain to you what's gonna happen in the future. I'll, 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 I'll just explain it to you. Like right now, I'm only selling this course through the YouTube channel, right? 
and probably because I need to finish the course. And this, this is one of the reasons. As long as I'm working on a course, I'm not going to try to sell it using ads. I'm not trying to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and kind of move toward, let's say October. Because I have a feel, feeling that I'll be finished with everything that's like July, August, September, October. Yeah, let's go to the end of October and I start running ads, okay? And let me go ahead and give you some structure of what's coming. This is the producer side. Um, number one, I'm going to start running ads and I'm going to start taking the phone calls that people will set up and I'm going to set up a customer relationship management software, CRM. Because one of the things that I don't want to do is to be trapped and set up in an office waiting on phone calls. So I'm not going to do that. But in the beginning, I'm going to take the phone calls and I'm going to hire myself a customer assistant uh, person. The customer assistant person, every time someone signs up for a course, the customer service person is going to um, send them an email and follow up with a personal phone call. Because one of the things that I have seen in this online course business is there's not a lot of people who have opened it up to extreme customer service. So I'm going to hire this customer service rep that's going to send you uh, details and then get on the phone call and like, do you have any questions or you, can you log in and everything else? And then that's going to be the first hire. Then the second hire is going to be another salesperson that I'm going to have sit next to me for a week watching me do the things that I need to do and essentially as we build this thing out, I'm probably going to have three salespeople because once again, I got to get the traffic first. And then once I get the traffic to book up their calendars, I'm going to have multiple salespeople, customer service reps, and um, I can pretty much do what I want to because th this is what I'm talking about December. Uh, I'm going to have my little cushy life back by December, probably before December. Now, what is my cushy little life? And this, this is the producer talking. I'm going to have a team of people who are going to be running the business and I'm going to be working out in the gym. I'm going to be uh, going to lunch with my girlfriend. I'm going to be living life because see, as a producer, as a creator, as someone who builds, and builds up this organization because this is the thing. Um, I'm going to train my sales reps because this is this this is so good because I used to be a sales rep. So I'm going to train my sales rep to take calls, and I'm also going to train my sales reps to follow up with the CRM because here's the thing. And this is one of my mentors. He said we need sales today. We need sales tomorrow. We need sales next year. We need sales next month. We and, you know, essentially um, by following up with people, my sales reps, because this is one of the things, once again, we're with the producer thing. I'm going to go ahead and like, all right, your goal is three sales per day. And if you make three sales per day, you get 5,000 a week. If you make one sale per day, you only get $1,000 a week. So we're going to have it like, it's go, the sales reps are going to be highly incentivized to make their three sales a day because three sales a day is um, it's going to be 15 sales per month. Well, 15 sales per week, which is going to be 60 sales per month. So if they make 60 sales per month, they're going to get $20,000, right? Now, I want you to really, really stick with me. I got three salesmen, right? And at that time, the whole course is going to be about $6,000. So they make three sales per day. They're doing $18,000 per day times five, which is going to be 50. It's going to be $90,000 a week, $90,000 a week. Now I have three salespeople doing $90,000 a week. That's um, $270,000 per week, a million dollars per month. So at the million dollars per month, I can run ads, 
I can pay salespeople, I can pay administrative assistants. There's a lot of things I can do. Because see, you know, um, being a producer without a vision is, is going to limit your income. Because once I get that set up, and then we'll be doing a million a month, 12 million a year, that's when things are going to really, really open up and change. And this is something you can only do as a producer. You can only do this as a producer. And then another thing is, because I figure um, I'm probably going to be spending, you know, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 60,000 dollars for the salespeople if they hit their goals. And then the customer service people, I'll pay them probably like four thousand dollars a month. So that's 60, let's say. 68,000 on them. And then I'll probably be spending a hundred thousand a month on ads. So that's $160,000 plus the offices and everything. So this is the future. And as a producer, as a creator, as a builder, you can design your future. You can design your life. And this, this is one of the things I'm working on because uh, when I revamped the YouTube channels and I revamped my training and I revamped my coursework and I revamped everything that I'm doing, I'm opening up my life to make so much more money because as a producer, you want to be getting daily income. And once again, once I hire those sales reps and I figured this is going to take me months to hire the reps, to train the reps, because I got to find the people and everything. But let's say I have my cushy life starting in December and then um, I will have a business that I am the manager of that will be doing $270,000 per week, per week. And then this, this is the producer talking to you. This is the producer because I don't know what it's like to get, you know, during the active productive times, I don't know what it's like to get paid twice a month. I have no clue to what that's like. And during the uh, revamp phase, I'm not going to really count that because that wasn't that long. But when you become a producer, you want to, deal with getting daily income. You want to set yourself up where you're consistently getting paid because here's the thing, when you're consistently getting paid, light bill, mortgage, car payments, credit card, all that stuff is like, eh, you don't even worry about that. Like this month, my credit card bills were I spent like $18,000 and I paid it off already. I paid it off, but like long before the statement date. So what happens when you become a producer, bills become immaterial. I have not worried about rent or mortgage payments or well, car payments until I bought the new Porsche. I didn't have any car. Well, actually I had a car payment on the Mercedes, but I didn't, I don't really worry about payments because here's the thing. Once you become a producer and let's say you become a producer and you're getting paid every day, let's go ahead and talk about you. You're getting paid every day and then you're getting paid 28 to 31 times per month. So, and let's go ahead and say you have a business, you set up your business and your business does $750 per day. Cause I'm talking about beginning, you starting the business, getting it set up. So 750 times seven is going to be seven times seven is 445 plus the 50 is going to be like 350. So 
close to $5,000 per week. And let's just say your monthly bills were $5,000. So in one week, you make enough money to pay all of your bills. And then week two, week th three, and week four are excess income that you can do. Because let's say $750 per day. And I'm just kind of ballparking it because I don't have my calculator. But every 10 days, you're going to make $700, 7500 bucks. So that's like, yeah, 20, 21,500 bucks per month. So what you're going to do is set yourself up where your production is going to exceed your consumption. I want you to think about that. When your production exceeds your consumption, like I'm not trying to be rude or braggadocious. I'm not worried about well, number one, I don't have a lot of bills. That's number one. I don't, I like, um, like the Porsche, the Porsche. I've already paid it up because this is funny with Porsche. I'm three years ahead on the Porsche payment. So I don't really worry about bills. I don't worry about that type of stuff because I don't really have a lot of bills and that's by intentional design, not to have a lot of bills not to be situated in certain things. So once you become a producer, once you start producing and your production level goes up really, really high, your consumptions, and just like say you're a normal American, you have normal bills, your consumption will seem insignificant. Food, electricity, Cause I think I got to pay my electric bill. Cause typically I just pay it whenever I get, I get, I get the text from the, the power company. So typically I pay that. But when you're in this production mode, once you really get it rolling and I'm talking about as a first year business owner and you get it up, your production is just going to way, way exceed your consumption. And when you get to that level, game changes because you know, you don't really want to be a mere consumer. When you become a mere consumer, um, this is when your life gets to be, it can be somewhat challenging at time. It can be really, really, it can be a struggle because you only get those two, paychecks per month yet you have daily consumption habits you have food electricity cable internet your cell phone you you have all of these consumption mechanisms but your production is so off because your your consumption is like this and your production is like that that's where you run into the problem so what you need to do is have your production like that and have your consumption like that. And the only way you can do this is to start a business. This is the only way you can do this. Uh, unless you get into maybe commercial sales where you get paid every time you do a deal. My deal was I was 100% commission. So I only got paid once a deal was done. That means that we had did the final installation and the customer had sent in their final check. And then we got paid four, four to five days after that final check was sent in. So I would go in my office and I would see an envelope on my desk with a check in it. And that's, and I remember that one month where I had those seven deals, it was like, I was literally getting a check every week and some weeks I got two. It was great. It was great. And I want you to think about that because you got to change your mindset towards becoming a, a producer where you're not so worried about just consuming. Cause this is where a lot of people get messed up. They'll start a business and then they'll start buying and living and changing their lifestyle. And that that's where they mess up. 
Because essentially, for me to change my lifestyle, and I, I'll be be honest with you, uh, I have no, <laughs> I have no intentions to upgrade my lifestyle because I think pretty much where where I think, well, once again, it just depends. Uh, my goal is to make the money first and then get in the habit of making that money and then raise my lifestyle versus first check, raise my lifestyle and being on this perpetual train of trying to make money to live my life. That's not something that I do. So what you want to do is to seriously get on that production lifestyle, creating, building, and doing, because once you become a producer and you start creating and making stuff, your life will dramatically change. So hopefully I'll see you guys at 5 p.m. today for the webinar. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next video.